Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this series of videos, we are seeing the configuration steps uh, for implementing SRM for classic or extended classic scenarios. So in the last video, we have seen the basic settings which need to be configured. So today's video, we are going to see some of the technical settings which need to be configured. So come, let's get started. So for that, uh, uh, open SPRO. Uh, open the transaction SPRO and yeah so go to IMG node and then select uh, supplier relationship management then uh, SRM server and then <coughs> first thing we need to uh, do is activating the business function so click on activate business function node so here you will get all the um, uh, business function which is relevant for uh, your component so here it is SRM so we can see all the business functions so I have activated uh, bit security announcement <coughs> and then uh, SRM continuous improvement we have 1 2 and then 2.23 etc so you can read the documentation and then activate which is relevant for your business and the customer needs so the document can be read uh, in the right hand side in the documents based on the requirements you could activate the relevant uh, business function so in my case I have activated a couple of business functions which is relevant for my uh, business needs uh, so this this describes you the business function uh, details and then uh, you could see so many business functions I have activated sourcing relevant which is required for my uh, uh, PR transfer and then you could see the switch status by clicking on display switch status so since I activated uh, bit security that switch is uh, green and similarly uh, and other uh, business function when I activated other things is also green uh, next is uh, go to technical basic settings and uh, first thing we need to define the um, RFC destination so define to define RFC destination we have to create a logical system so for that uh, go to ALV ALE and then uh, drop down to basic setting then logical system click on define logical system here you can define multiple logic systems uh, based on your number of clients which is associated and yeah you can create and save and then assigning this logical system to your client for example, um, uh, 001, 400 for X client, 500 for Y, etc. So you should, uh, you can assign those uh, logical system for different clients. <coughs> so after uh, assigning the logical system, we have to uh, define um, uh, the uh, destination for backend uh, ERP and other um, uh, clients we have. So for uh, ECC, C folder, if you have SUS, uh, so for multiple um, uh, clients, so we have to map the logical system and RFC destination mapping, and then so for for creating RFC, you go to define RFC node and then click on create button. I have already created uh, multiple systems. Uh, so this, this so this this is the RFC destination should be assigned in. Um, the backend systems for connection purpose for uh, <coughs> multiple systems from SRM to ECC, SRM to C folder, etc. So, here we are going to define the product categories which need to be transferred from ECC. So, I have given all categories. So, if you want to specify a uh, list of uh, material, then you have to specify one by one uh, and specifying the, um, the source system and um, the next would be uh, related to supplier synchronize so for that you click on settings for supplier synchronization first tip is uh, creating the supplier group so that i have already created so i'm just going to show you by clicking display um, supplier group this will be the root org for the transferring suppliers from ecc to srm and other uh, details i will talk talk to you uh, in the later videos when I am discussing about uh, um, vendor replication this is regarding the automatic download ma marketplace so this I will talk to you later 
and uh, this business I am showing you the node uh, <coughs> how to define the, uh, the group which we created in the previous steps. So, these these things are relevant for um, uh, transferring the vendors from ECC to SRM. Okay. This is for vendor synchronization. <coughs> Um, in, uh, apart from this in uh, technical basic settings um, yeah so this is all done ah yeah next is like um, maintaining the portal information this is very much uh, required otherwise the portal will not be working so uh, this um, fully qualified path we have to get it from the basis team and uh, enter the values and uh, this um, protocol should be uh, maintained for both HTTP and HTTPS and this digital signature which um, IV should be called so that has to be maintained. Similarly, if you are using a payment gateway, the IV for the payment gateway has to be maintained. And this is very important otherwise the portal for my multi other um, you know the applications will not be triggered. You will get a page cannot be displayed error message. So, that is it. So, uh, we will continue uh, with uh, vendor replication steps in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.